Well, new breast cancer screening guidelines have been released. A local doctor co-authored these guidelines, which experts hope will help save lives of both women and transgender individuals. Carmela Boykin is live with what we need to know about this update. Good morning, Carmela. Good morning, Leah. I'm outside Elizabeth Wendy Breast Care, where women, especially over the age of 40, are encouraged to have an annual breast exam. I spoke with Dr. Stamatia Destunas, who says this is just part of the new guidelines. Our goal as breast radiologists is to find the tiniest breast cancer, have it removed, and have the patient live a long, healthy life. To do this, Dr. Destunas says it's important that all women are explicitly included in the guidelines. We just wanted to highlight, you know, black women, other minorities that may be at a higher risk. And what that means is they may, at the same age as a white woman, be diagnosed with a later stage tumor that's more aggressive, and they may have a higher chance of mortality. The new guidelines also add language to include the LGBTQ population. We want to really discuss that they do need to be screened, and we, we can't forget that the fact that they have to come in, that we have to provide an environment that is friendly and comfortable for them to come in and get their screening mammogram. While already encouraged, the new guidelines reinforce the importance of annual screenings. We're still recommending yearly because that's where we find the smallest cancers that are the best treated with very minimal surgery and treatment. Dr. Destuna says the goal of the guidelines is to encourage conversation around breast cancer prevention. We hope that leads to a discussion and more education and openness so people are more willing to come in and have their life-saving screening. And while it's recommended that women over the age of 40 have an annual screening, by the age of 30, women are also recommended to have a risk assessment test. Reporting in Rochester, Carmela Boykin, News 8. Yeah, very important. Carmela, thank you for that update. These guidelines are for patients, but also for doctors and radiologists to review.